Today's emerging markets are tomorrow's powerhouses. According to a recent forecast from Standard Chartered, countries like Indonesia, Brazil, Turkey, and Egypt will all be moving up the economic ladder over the next few years. But before we get into future growth, let's look at where things stand today. China recently edged out the US to become the world's largest economy by GDP when adjusted for purchasing power parity. India, Japan, and Germany will round out the top five. Let's look at how this is expected to change by the year 2030. China's GDP will continue growing. Even accounting for a natural slowdown given the economy's size, the country may still end up with an economy twice the size of the United States. Already, five of the ten largest companies in the world are located in China. India will shift up into second position. Some of this growth will be fueled by rapid urbanization as many of the world's fastest growing cities are located in India. Indonesia's economy is expected to triple, surpassing the size of India's today. The country's capital, Jakarta, is projected to become the world's biggest megacity by 2030. With three countries in the top five, Asia's slice of the global GDP pie will increase to 35%. Egypt is expected to rocket up the rankings from 21st place to 7th by 2030. The country's rapidly increasing population will play a big part in this economic growth. Germany is expected to remain in the top 10, but at the bottom of the list. While the country is likely to remain the dominant economy in Western Europe, its modest growth rate will see it fall behind more populous, rapidly developing countries in Asia. This is a trend that will likely play out across the world as the divide between the developed and the developing economies continues to close. Theoretically, a country's share of global GDP should eventually converge on their share of global population, a trend we see reflected in this forecast. By 2030, seven of the world's ten largest economies will be located in today's emerging markets. As this shift occurs, Western economies may need to adjust to new realities on the global economic stage. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, continue supporting our channel by subscribing. It helps us reach more people so we can cover even more topics that you're interested in. For more data-driven posts, visit visualcapitalist.com for new content every day.